at seven something. I got a text uh, from the guys in the building. It's flooded. Again. It's a little worse this time, I think, judging on the photos. It's uh, pretty bad. So the storage place where I have all my photos stored from basic old framed, you know, a lot of different stuff. Yeah, it's not looking too good. I haven't been there, but I'm gonna go and check it out right now. Stick around to see my flooded office and my face when I find out. <laughs> Smithers. My whole body hurts. At first, I was like almost like kind of calm because I was like, I don't know, it's probably stuff that I could replace, but it might be my hard drives too. And I don't know where they are because when it flooded the first time, they got moved. And I don't know where because I wasn't here. We are not for lager, it's not there on one. Here, it's my storage. Oh my god. Judging from this is not looking good. fra forrige gang, fra 2019 eller noen år. For nå er det jo faen meg, nå kan du svømme inn på studio. Svøm inn, svøm inn. Jeg vet ikke hva som er de voksne her, det må jeg finne ut av ASAP, for det kan være hardisker. Ah, fuck. I don't want to open this box. This is the only thing I care about. I don't know if this is a box, but if this is my hard drives. Oh my god, it's my negatives. Oh my god, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, hard drives. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god, my hard drives was not in the bottom, okay? Oh, here is the bottom. Fuck, 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 fuck. It's like whoever hard drive is on the bottom is most likely completely ruined. Oh my god.
Ja. Fordi de her er bilder som skal til Bergen. Mm. Det skal til Bergen, det skal til Bergen, den ramma der skal til det, og det er helt ødelagt. Bilder er ødelagt, det er ødelagt, ramma er ødelagt, de er ødelagt. Men der, Oka, er det bilder. Ja, det var det. Så har vi et bilder til Berlin. Ja. Og utstillingen er... Neste uke. Det skulle bli sendt nå på tirsdag, alt sammen. Så vi har to dager. Bilder for sånn fem minutter siden. Ja. Faen, du var dårlig det der. Ja, det var dritt vanskelig. I'm very curious if these big ones are fucked. The aluminium might be good because I packed them very good, but I don't know. Like these? I feel like as long as I saw the hard drives, how fucked they are, and I can get that off my mind, like I don't, I don't care about these photos anymore. <laughs> I really don't. I can just print new ones. Apparently the uh, water is coming towards the cracks in the floor, which is crazy. So it literally comes from like everywhere at this point and it's, it's actually rising. Put it in context, where this thing is leaking right now, that's the door for my old office. But technically it's still my office because I've been there, I've been having a storage, and I've been also working there when I actually, you know, been here. I've been in this building for around 10 years and I've been like renovating a lot of these spaces every time I move into them. So I've been spending a lot of time, a lot of money on them. So when I was in Greece, this whole office flooded. So the inside of this, which is flooded again, flooded two weeks ago. And I had to move all of my stuff and put everything in a different storage. Luckily I put all my cameras somewhere else, but I said put the hard drives in my storage so I know exactly where they are because you know I wasn't here and I had to like hire people to do so. Of course those hard drives that I moved from the safe two weeks ago got moved into the storage that now flooded which is insane. So all of my like actual important stuff I feel like got moved into the storage that flooded. So I don't know what's going on inside here actually right now. Okay. Fine. Okay. Fine. What the fuck? Holy fuck! I Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, okay, okay, okay. That is safe for me now. Oh shit, Victor. Is it safe for you? No, I'll be able to fit out. Oi. Ja, det er gamle posters. Nice. Åh, oh, fy faen. Nei, står du avkokt der, da? Ja. Ja, hva er det du får? Ja. Fy faen. Hell da. I was just outside explaining and like, and like seeing the coming water out of the, that door. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know how it looks in there. And then you guys called. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this flooded, it tore up the whole floor and you know obviously the walls and stuff because everything was damaged. This machine apparently and you know taking out the moist from the <laughs> room <laughs> to get it ready 
to, you know, literally uh, do a whole new floor here, like concrete floor. And we were just talking about, imagine they doing the concrete floor <laughs> and then the flood comes in and all the concrete just like literally will seal the building. <laughs> 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 it's kind of crazy to think about how what much I had spent and you know and time and money and like into this place and this is the end this is like the end like what do you do like what do you do from here literally what do you do from here like I'm, I'm very curious to see, like what is going on in like I mean everyone's life right now but my life has just been like a hit after a hit after a hit and I really thought I was done I really thought like my luck was turning. If I don't get like a really nice time after this, a nice life after this, I don't know what's going on. Well, this is the safe. Never had anything like down there and I had it all stacked here. Could have been safe. But yeah, it's not waterproof. <laughs> I, thought, I was like, ah, is it waterproof? I was like, no, it's actually, it's fireproof though. So. It's fireproof. It's literally fireproof. But it's not waterproof. Uh, Basic uh, fireprint. <laughs> the basic fireprint being flooded. I love the fan. I love the fucking fan. <laughs> Fan being on the floor, trying to take it out the moist from the room. <laughs> <laughs> that size is that's a sad fan. <laughs> the fan is just like, hmm, I tried. <laughs> Better get a lot of blessings off this. The blessings are coming your way, and it's making room for them. Good things are coming. Stay woke, stay humble, stay. Inshallah, the world is yours. <laughs> oh shit. She inshallahed me. I'm not going to be able to do that. No. I'm pretty unfaced at this point, to be honest. I'm not really like emotional attached to anything that is going on, and it's still not my health. I mean, the passport thing was really that. To like kind of backtrack, my whole streak now has been everything from like losing my hard drive, my backup hard drive for the whole year this year, which was like a lot of relevant stuff and a lot of YouTube stuff fell to the ground, and we can recover it. And then my flash just, my main big flash just started, like stopped working on a shoot just randomly. With the hard drive, it was way bigger deal because it was a lot of footage and a lot of memories from our Connelly and Ava, us like renovating the Poland Springs house. And I was really sad about that actually. And then my office flooded the first time, and this is like two weeks ago. And it was like not that much water, but it was, you know, enough to fuck up a lot, fuck up the whole floor fuck up a lot of stuff that I had on the floor, but I had most of the camera gear, like all in shelves. So that was pretty much safe, but I was in Greece. I was trying to enjoy Greece for the first time. I'd never been. It was like amazing hotel. Yep. I had to just basically book moving companies at the pool, trying to enjoy my April spritz and uh, you know, the beautiful view. And then I forgot my Mac in the security in Greece <laughs> and I didn't notice before, right before we were boarding. So I ran down, tried to get, it was too long of a line. I went to the wrong space first and I didn't get it back before I flew to Paris. So I reached out on Instagram and actually a follower reached out and, and picked it up for me and shipped it. So that was a really best case scenario. And I'm like so fucking grateful for all my followers and supporters that like always helps me with so much stuff. And then I came home from Paris two days later to Oslo and I forgot my side pouch and it got stolen. It was a big, you know, big side pouch, YSL pouch that I loved dearly and everything was in there. Like literally everything. It was like a perfect storm. I took out the air tag from this thing too because Ava needed one to send her luggage. And I was like, oh, just take this. I have extra. This pouch is always on me, anyways. Took out that. I didn't have like headphones to track in there either. I had passport. I had a lot of cash. 
I had camera rolls, camera, uh, chargers, memory sticks with all my music, uh, my wallet. I was on this amazing boat trip that we have every single year. It's on the 14th year right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, all right, well, at least I'm healthy. Like, it's nothing like really bad is going to happen to my health, but it's all these materialistic things going on in my life. Keep on losing and getting damaged. So I tried a new trick, my first jump of the season. Not the best ID from a 16 meter, two and a half, kind of unrotated. <laughs> and I got away with it, but in this jump, when I really like thought I was gonna turn my luck, I lost my gold chain in that jump. This is a new one actually, but I lost my gold chain. So one out of two things that I was wearing at the time, one of those things got missing. So I was like, oh my God, like it's something going on at this point. So after that, I really thought it was done, but apparently, you know, getting a passport was fairly easy. I actually got one in eight hours, which is crazy. Nobody ever heard about that before, getting it that fast. And I was like, all right, I'll just, you know, hit up the embassy to get in my visa, my US visa attached to my new passport. Apparently that's not the case. So I had to go through a half of a process and pay a lot of fees. I had to wait for things. I had to ship it. And now I'm just waiting to get my visa so I can literally go home to Ava and you know huddle in my life because my life is not really here anymore so i'm just on pause so i was just you know i'll i'll get my shit sorted you know we're on right track right now yesterday i almost crashed my car because it was raining a lot and it was like flooding on the road and i did, i saw it just way too late and it was like dark and i lost control over the car and i was heading straight into this wall luckily i was literally this close I was like, I felt like I was touching it. I was like, I was on my phone with Ava and I was like, I think I might scratch the whole side. I came back home and I checked the car and I didn't scratch it. So that would have been icing on the cake. So lately it's just been like taking a hit after a hit. And at this point there's something going on like retrograde, you know, somebody's starting to tell me something. Somebody's putting an evil eye on me. There's a lot of stuff. Like I do believe in things like that too. So it's definitely me reading into it and trying to learn from it because obviously I want to, I don't want to just like la 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 la. Okay. There's a lot of stuff going on, but as for now, it doesn't really seem like there's anything specific for what's going on. It's like a lot of materialistic things. That's like the red thread and everything. But other than that, I like nothing unsaid, nothing undone. So I just, I don't know. I, I really don't know what's going on, but one thing is for sure that I'm like, I'm really trying to detach myself for a lot of things and especially just having stuff here in Norway while I'm in the States is not ideal. Even though it's really hard because, you know, you have prints left over, you have a lot of equipment for projects, you have, you know, your master storage with hard drives. And with that being said too, we do have insurances on this thing, but we don't know yet for everyone that is asking. Hopefully that will get it sorted and we'll see. Hope for the best. But right now I'm actually walking into like you know, completely going away from this building that I've been for like over 10 years. I gotta find a new storage. Right now, everything is on temporary storage. I need to find a new one. And yeah, I just need to detach myself. That's, that's the only thing that kind of adds up right now. And I can't wait for bigger and better after this. Like if I take another hit after this too, like fuck it, you know, whatever comes, comes. I feel at, at this point, it's just out of my control. Um, taking cautions, I'm trying to, you know, do everything right. And um, yeah, I can't wait for the, the streak in the positive way off to this, because uh, this is kind of crazy. I think it's the longest streak I've been on with bad things happening to me. But again, I'm healthy. I'm really healthy. So, <laughs> well, when I think about it, like, in between this, I actually got sick too though. I got sick for a long time, but again, I got well. So it wasn't anything like life-changing health stuff. So 
this is just me probably just talking it down but you know it is what it is stay healthy be grateful whatever you're going through physical things mental things materialistic things it will get better i promise you believe that i'm an example of that right now and i feel like i've gone through way worse than this as well um, AK mental and physical things too. We're still here, still standing. Uh, all right, I'm gonna head home, starving. Pack the last bit. I'm heading home.